come on out to Brown Mountain Bottle Works at 115 East Union Street in Morganton, North Carolina. The place to be for great craft beer. Browse their shelves filled with hundreds of craft beer selections. Relax and enjoy one of their eight draft taps. Show your love for the store with their logo t-shirts, hats, and glassware. Want to see what they have in stock 24 hours a day? Check out their website at www.brownmountainbottleworks.com. We'll see you there. Today, with NC Beer Guys, we promote NC Craft Beer online, ncbeerguys.com. We do these videos and issue some of the great beers available across the state. Maybe a beer you don't know about, maybe a brewery you don't know about. And today, we might be doing both. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you didn't know, uh, Biltmore State in Asheville, of course, has a reputation for their wine. They also do a branded beer, and the beer there is named after uh, George Vanderbilt's beloved St. Bernard, Cedric. And as far as I know, they do two beers. They may do yep. more. There was five like on Untapped, but I'm not sure they do I, them all all the time. I saw two. That this the pale time, and, and a brown. brown. Right. Right. Yep. So we happen to have some brown. Mm -hmm. So we're going to drink this. And of course, uh, Biltmore is famous, as I said, for the award-winning wines. And they're named after Cedric the St. Bernard. Cedric's beer is brewed by Biltmore Brewing Company. The estate owns the recipe and the brewing ingredients. But. Yeah, they use an arrangement called alternative brewing or uh, contract brewing or people different, different people call it different things. And they actually brew the beer at Highland uh, in Nashville, Highland Brewing Company. Biltmore was established with the opening, Biltmore Brewing was established with the opening of Cedric's Tavern in March of 2010. So they've been around a little while. The first release was two beers, Cedric's beers, including the pale ale and the brown ale, which we're drinking today. They say Cedric's Brown Ale is big, friendly, approachable. The deep russet colored beer offers hints of caramel and roasted barley with a nutty flavor produced by Victory Malt. The crisp finish is marked by well-balanced hops. Relax and enjoy, they say, the satisfying pub fare. And of course, it's all coming out of Cedric's Tavern, which is the pub there. Uh, alongside robustly flavored American and global cuisine, craft beer, spirits, and built more wine. A full bar, live music in the evening, and outdoor seating makes this restaurant, Cedric Tavern, a destination plot. Just in case you haven't been to Britmore for some other reason, you can go now for the beer. I've never seen this beer anywhere else, so I think you probably can't get it anywhere but Britmore. Don't you think that's right? I got it at the gift shop. So I think it's probably closely guarded on, and you've got to go to Biltmore to get it. Okay, but which is fine. Hey, I can't you know say what? 100 what's percent that that's the case. It may yeah. be available around Asheville. Um, I don't know. What's wrong with getting it? But what's wrong with going to Biltmore and getting it? <laughs> Not a bad thing. Take, right. take a tour and get some beer. That's right. It makes the tour worthwhile. When and you have the beer there. <laughs> and again, we've, we've run across this a time or two where somebody will have a beer that they don't actually brew on premises because, as far as I know, they're not a licensed brewery, or are they? No. You know, they're not, because no, they don't actually brew on premises. No, they brew it at Highland. At Highland. Yep. So they call themselves a brewery, but we don't know exactly how it works legally. But well, anyway, they have a right to own the name and to put it out. Yep. And do they even give all that information on the bottles? Uh, government warning. <laughs> we know Looking friendly. Boot, bro yeah, it's just boot, blah, blah, brewed and bottled by Biltmore Brewing Company. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's North Carolina. So, and it's five point five percent. Yeah. So they don't have any mention that. Oh, brood and this brood and bottle. Oh, by bit more. Yeah, okay. I just said that. I, was, I thought they were going to say Highland oh. down there. And this is twelve fluid ounces of good stuff. Good stuff. That's what it says. And with the uh, same amount on the label. So, uh, like anyone else, they contract brew out. So they have the, they made the recipe, and all the doings have someone else brewed for them. It's done in North Carolina, so that's the good right. part. Right. So let's we'll see what we think. It's got a multi. And some caramel coming through. Yeah, caramel. And it, otherwise, it's kind of the aroma you'd expect from a brown ale. It poured kind of like a brown ale should. It looks good. The rest of the color, like I said, mm. a clean brown. They said it cleaned up. What did they say? Some uh, nutty flavor produced by crisp finish. And that's that's kind of right. Mm -hmm. it, it cleans up very well in the mouth. 
clean and crisp. How about that? Because it's good stuff. <laughs> it is very good. It's not as flavorful as some brown ales, is it? But, but I take it as it's a it's a good brown. It's kind of like a standard to style brown, right. maybe. No, that's all right. It's just this is you're getting a you know you have a brown. You want to see if you want you want to know what a brown tastes like. This is it. That's probably right. Yeah, that's probably right. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. Well, you know, as we've said before, we get into all the specialty beers and the adjuncts and the flavors. Well, but if you can't do the styles right first, right, you come with the basics first. You kind of got some issues. Yep. And there's nothing wrong with drinking to style. Yeah. You know, a pure pilsner or a pure a pale ale. I mean, those are to be valued and known. Right. Before you get into the, well, what can we make it on top of that and make it different and special? Yeah, let's just the hazelnut and toffee and. But if you miss the first, if you miss the basic, the foundation. Right. Then you're just covering up. That's right. Yep. That's exactly right. So it's good. It's a good, good solid beer. So as always, we would encourage you to get out there and maybe try a beer you haven't had before. Yep. From Nashville Brewing Company. Cedric Brown Ale and try the Pale Ale. We've not had that, but I'm sure it's probably good too. Yep. And as always, this is David Glenn reminding you to drink local and keep your beer dollars in North Carolina.